Your problem, Steve. If you fell into a barrel full of nipples, you come out sucking your thumb. Nowadays, everybody wanna talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips. Just a bunch of gibberish, motherfuckers, and they because they forgot about Dre. Woo! -hoo! I know exactly what you're thinking. How does he spew out these lyrics? He's a genius. I am Kev. Ashford, and this is the not world famous. Yay! Are you having that? Yeah, getting bored of it now. Anyway, this is Van Cam. As somebody once said, Van Cam, it's not just a video, it's a lifestyle. And it's true. Yeah, it really is. Coming up this week, we'll have a look back at Crystal Palace against United, the one at Old Trafford. They were really shit. I'll give you my thoughts on that. We'll do a bit of Fellaini watch. Don't know what I'll be saying in that one. Uh, we're going to bring back Wanker of the Week. Lots of calls for that last week. So we will bring it back to the masses. And we'll also do your comments. Your chance for you lot to have your say. So that'll be the comments from last week. So first up was the game against Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. Which I did go to. I was awfully close to the away section in fact. I was only two seats away from him, which was great because it was a bit of banter going back and forward. More me just saying yous are really, really shit. But they even tried giving it back by singing that Man City had scored five against them and how shit were we that we hadn't scored five. And apparently we were a shit Man City as well. Off the scale banter, that's what was going on. But when Juan Mata did score the early goal, a coin hit the bloke next to me. I did feel a bit sorry for him. It was probably meant for me. Uh, a 20p coin as well. These flash cockney bastards. Cheeky bastard. Cheeky cockney bastards, in fact. So, yeah, that hit him. Uh, police come in and all that. But I would try to protect my son, do you know what I mean? I've got a seven-year-old with me and my son. And I wasn't too best pleased, so I did give them a bit of abuse. But nothing more than what they deserve, because it could have hit my son. But back to the match. United absolutely destroyed Crystal Palace. What can you say? 4-0. Every week, man. Every week. Love it. Absolutely love it. Goals at all the right time. An early goal. Absolutely messed Crystal Palace's game plan up to just come and sit with the big bus parts in front of the goal. They had to beep, beep, reverse the bus out and let's get forward. But we just hit them on the attack. Now, uh, probably the best bit of the match. Uh, and I don't like to see players having to retire on the strength of something that you see but when you see it woo, yes it was tony marshall he basically ended townsend's career and i was there to see it with my own bare eyes the banter in the crowd everyone was like woo, doing all that shit woo. martial didn't just nutmeg him he actually rolls the ball his foot over the ball rolls it through townsend's legs He's basically retired him in one split second. Now, what this actually means is Townsend's wife will leave him, his kids will disown him, the dog will head for the hills because the dog will be happier there. Why? When you've got an embarrassment like Townsend. I remember Figo getting nutmeg by John O'Shea at Old Trafford. Never the same after that, man. Never recovered. I'm sure he got divorced and his kids never spoke to him again. I'm telling you, this shit happens, but and again, oh, it is perfection. And the best bit of it was Townsend's reaction to it. He's actually got his hands on his head because he's that devastated. He knows what's coming. That basically his life is fucked. But anyway, that was enough on that. Now we're going to get straight into Fellaini Watch. McTominay has it for United. Looking for Fellaini. This is Fellaini Watch, yes. I was there, I can say I was there the day that Marouane Fellaini scored. Not only one, but two goals in one game. Unbelievable scenes, absolutely unbelievable. The tree has come of age. He's doing everything that Mourinho wants of him. Can we put it down to great management or the fact that Fellaini is in the same bracket as Zinedine Zidane? 
Uh, I'm going with the first one, you know what I mean? I think Mourinho knows what he can get from him. Van Aal didn't have a bloody clue what to do with him. And in fairness, Fellaini is proving me wrong. He's had a couple of good games this season. Two goals. I was shaming. I thought he's going to score a hat trick. And obviously the messages started coming in on the old Twitter. Uh, people saying, you know, I was hoping he'd score a hat trick. You know, in your face. And I can take it because I give it him. I still maintain that he would not be in this team if Paul Pogba was not injured. We'll have to see. But at the minute, you must admit and agree that he is an important, kind of integral little part of the team. Uh, even if they just send him out to warm up and run down the line and give people like me in the crowd, it puts a smile on my face. I'm actually warming to him, man. I really am. Uh, there was a few little things that were sent in. Uh, there was even a picture, who said he ain't got class? Uh, from Man United, Herbert. Fellaini actually looks dapper. Maybe he watches fan cam, he's seen me. Remember the time I took the piss, I said, why is he wearing sandals? He needs to sort himself out. He actually looks half decent, I've got to say. Another one was Bill Beach who said, Kev, check this out, kiddo, lookalike of the week. It's a fucking Fellaini doodle. He's actually got a dog that looks like him and he should name it a Fellaini doodle. It should become a thing. Uh, personally, I mean, if I had that kind of dog, uh, I would take United results on it. You know, if we got beat at the weekend, I'd be coming back looking for the Fellaini doodle. Their doodle. I would obviously call it marijuana. Where is it? Kick it in the head or whatever. I wouldn't. I'm joking. Just in case the RSPCA or anything get in touch. That is your dose of Fellaini watch. That was Fellaini Watch, as you can tell. That was painful for me to do. Somebody that I don't really like that much to sing his praises. But it's got to be done, hasn't it? Fair play to him. Next up, we're going to have Wanker of the Week. Uh, this week, there's three nominations, so I've had to break it down. I'm going to go in reverse order from three down to one. So let's run this shit. It's Wanker of the Week. Yeah, it is Wanker of the Week. And straight in, let's just get straight into it. Straight in at number three. Number three is a wanker called Kev Ashford. Now, Kev Ashford does van camp. Oh, wait a minute, it's me. Yes, I'm coming in at number three because of my constant dogging of the tree that is Fellaini. He proved me wrong. He scored two goals in front of me. I was celebrating. I was actually singing his name. I was going, da, 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 Maro and Fellaini. Yeah, exactly. Coming in, straight in at number two is Jurgen Klopp. Now, Jurgen Klopp is a proper knobhead. He's got a load of teeth in his head. They're all crooked, they're yellow. He's an absolute dick. And to top it off, he's, he's managing Liverpool. Need I say more? Oh, yeah. This clip, this come out uh, a while ago. I think it was the Sevilla game from the Champions League game. Uh, I'm not going to put it down here. I'll put it on the big screen to make you appreciate it more if you've not seen it. Now, whilst Man United fans, City fans, you know, even Chelsea fans celebrate winning games, trophies, being up at the top of the league, Jurgen Klopp is actually celebrating his players winning a tackle. Run the clip. Yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. Jurgen Klopp celebrating a tackle. And that was a game that they actually drew as well. Which brings me actually back. Remember that game that they actually drew at home when Jurgen Klopp brought them all over? All the players saluting the cop, you know, like they won the title. God forbid they ever win the title because God knows what he'll do, man. It'll never happen anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. I know what you're thinking. What can top that? What could be number one? Number one is Manchester City. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Manchester City should be it every week. And in many people, United fans' eyes, it probably will be. Wankers just forever. But this is the reason. Now, I come across this in Red News. I was reading it. I was brought to my attention in the Pete Shaw column. It was uh, an email or some kind of text that was sent out to Man City fans. Now, it's actually encouraging City fans to send in a goal celebration selfie. Now you're supposed to do this at the match, so when you're celebrating, when City score, 
you take a selfie or even a video or whatever and you send it into the club and they'll actually try and get it on the big screen so everybody can see it <gasps> the scenes i mean man city fans are They've lambasted us for years, have been on about the shit atmosphere at Old Trafford, the way it's all changed. City are fast becoming the joke that they once were. They're just turning it round nicely. Me who can we forget last season, Champions League game? Remember this bad boy? It was the catwalk. It had blue lights on it. They played Oasis songs and everybody clapped whilst the players walked down it off the coach into the stadium. Oh, God. What else is there? Bye one ticket get 39 for free all this shit we continue to laugh at you while we continue to laugh at you what am i saying man i'm getting awful worked up but there's been pure fuckery from that club and this is the one that's always dissing us laughing at us we are now laughing at you because all that money that come in that shake money they're trying to turn you into some kind of american franchise club and I have to laugh because for one, I thought it'd be United. I thought Old Trafford would be nicknamed the Pepsi Bowl or something. But I tell you what, City, the gift keeps on giving. Please give us more. Yeah, man, this is your comment. Uh, last week, we set a poll. We did the Big Van Cam debate. We said, oh, fuck off, traffic. Yeah, last week we did the big Van Cam debate and we were saying, is Mourinho treated unfairly, you know, because his little toe went on the pitch and he got through into the stands, whereas Jurgen Klopp, Conte and all that, you know, it's shown as passion. Uh, I'll get through these quick. Man United 96 said, of course Mourinho is unfairly treated. Jurgen Klopp, sugar puff monster looking ass, is allowed to act like a right fucking clown on the sidelines. Also mentioned Antonio Conte, Mad Marcus from the United Stands said, Jose absolutely gets treated unfairly. Klopp and Conte ra rant and rave on the touchline and nothing happens. Adrian Smith said, Mourinho and United are both treated harshly by the FA and the British press. They're terrified we might go on to dominate the EPL for another 20 years. Uh, yeah, and the poll, obviously the result. Thank you for getting involved in it. It just tells me everything that I knew already. That's why I set the poll. Right, Ian Buckle on Twitter sent in this picture. It's Lukaku's toilet in Dundee. Check out this bad boy. Oh, wait a minute. We've got to be politically correct here on Van Cam. We're not racist on here, mate. Yeah? Bucko. Well, I know what you mean. It's a good one. I'll give it to you, son. Uh, Emma Osser said, Kevin, I missed you. I didn't know you had your own YouTube channel. Kept waiting for you on the United Stand. You must have been waiting a very long time. Set up this channel a year ago. One year on me, Jack Jones. Rocking 1,400 subscribers. And Dougie Brown from St. Anne's School said in my report that Kevin is basically, you know, he doesn't listen, doesn't concentrate. He will amount to nothing. Well, Dougie Brown, yeah. How many subs have you got on the old YouTube? I'm guessing none, because you're probably not on it. Georgie Ashford, that's my son. Didn't even know he was on YouTube. I did. He said, Fellaini is a tree, a tree, but he's our tree. I've trained him well. I think you'd have to uh, say that. Warren Storr, I think this is the lad that I met the other day, said, Kev, your class, and you know your football better than these so-called pundits. I'd rather get, rather get your views any day. Come on, United. It is true, I tell everyone all the time, you know, I played football at a very good level, uh, Fiddler's Green, South Manchester League, Publicity League, playing on Huff End every week, half cut. Also, I won 2009 uh, Division 4 champions in the Power League. Fans of HMFC said, death all the dogs dangly bits, Kev. That means it's the dog bollocks. I like that little take on words there, really, really good. Uh, Ali J said, I still think you bear a slight resemblance to John Bishop. John the Bastard Bishop? Cheeky bastard. Cheeky. The Scouse bastard, that's what he is. I won't be having any of that on Van Cam. In fact, I might just edit it out. Bruce McIntosh said, once again, Kev, you've proven that you have the best channel on YouTube. Maybe one day I'll have the subscribers to mirror them exact thoughts yeah but in a minute 1400 brush that shit off your shoulder eyes open here we go 
Uh, what I will say, I've got all really good comments a year I've been doing it. I've really not had like one bad uh, comment. Uh, Eyes Open said, watched for a cringy, cringing 90 sex. And then in brackets, Kev, you're not funny. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain still Listen to that shit, eyes open! If you don't like it, don't watch it! I don't like EastEnders, but I wouldn't watch it and then start Getting in contact with all the cast and saying you shit, your program shit. The f well, uh, one thing you've done, you've made a name for yourself because you are the first person to dislike, it's not even dislike, sorry, to leave a negative comment. I was only saying before I read it out that no one ever leaves shit comments on here. It's all lots of love. You are not welcome. I won't block you. If you want to get back to me, let me know the crack. I never said I was funny. Ali J, is that again? Who's this now? You know what you do to me? Hello, darkness. Ali J was in, he said, if that other lookalike picture doesn't make next week's show, maybe this one will. It's Merv, Merv the Perv from Home Alone. I say that because he looks like one, and people who basically loiter around cat flaps like that are certainly going to get a boot to the face. So basically he's saying that I look like a perv. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Give yourself a pat on the back. Next up was Deb M MCB. Oh, it's Deborah McVarnock. My cousin, funnily enough, said, Hey, ah, Kevin, looking good on Strictly. And this chisel chinned, rat faced, feeling whatever, don't know what I'm going on about, is supposed to look like me. Mm. Uh, next up, Dave Burt. We're still in the house. <laughs> said, No good wearing a cap disguise, Kev. It's you, isn't it? It's not Burt Whistle. This is our full-time devils of one of their fan cams. Not Van Cam, obviously, because Van Cam is copyrighted to me. But it's not me. Far too much hair, Burt Whistle. Uh, I suppose if I wanted to disguise myself, I could clip hair in around there. But it's not. It's not. That is it. Is it? Lay, Lay, Lay Davis. Logs on. Log, logs on. Yeah. On Twitter, tweeting me, Kev, that tree keeps growing, and here's a look alike. Uh, got to be you. <laughs> Bastard! Look at the state of him! <gasps> that looks like one of them guys that would be, I don't know, in Gary Neville's hotel. But not the one, the hotel football one, you know, the one where you, you basically squat and don't pay for it. You play the guitar all night singing Come By Army Lord and all that and talk about saving the whales and the trees. That's not me. I'm Kev. Kev Ashford. That is it. I've had enough. I'm emotionally drained after today. Bad comments. Everything. The full shebang. It really has taken off here. Listen. After the break, the international break. Oh, international football. What a load of horse shit that is. Ruined my weekend anyway. But I'll try and enjoy it. But we've got a good one to look forward to. It's only them dirty rats from over the other side of the M62. Yeah, Liverpool. We're playing them, so I'll be doing my research to find out and basically inform you about everything you need to know about them dirty, rotten Scousers. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Drop a like on it. If you enjoyed the show, show your appreciation. Uh, make sure you share the video, do whatever you want. Big, big up to Jeff Waldrop. I think that's his name on the Facebook page. It's at Kev's Van Cam. Get on that. He's always liking the videos. He copies his mates in. Do that shit. Uh, who else? Dave, Wivenshaw, Dave, Dave the Rave. Thanks very much for the emails, mate. Uh, really appreciate it. Love having to read through them and all the pictures that he sent me. I'm going to try and share them on next week's show because I've had that much to get through. Uh, really appreciate get, getting in touch, mate. Respect and all that. Uh, like I say, just get in touch. 
all this shit up here at Kevin Ashford 7 and have a top weekend. Can't do a Come On United because it's so international weekend and I'm certainly not shouting come on England because I couldn't give a flying fuck. Have a top weekend, have a few drinks and enjoy yourself. Drink responsibly of course. Woo! I've got Tourette's. Are you ready? Are you ready for love? Yes I am. Oh.